Uh, not an easy, not an easy summer for you. It is the time when all those memories, which I know are never far, um, have been in your mind. That's right. Um, because we lost Natasha on the first Sunday of the summer holidays. Mm. Um, it was, you know, the whole summer was spreading out. That's the one time that kids really look forward to. They break mm. up from school and then they're going to do, hopefully, something really great with their families. Um, and since that, it's been really difficult because we want to still give Alex that, that fun and the mm. time to have a holiday. Mm. But we're also aware it's the time when we lost Natasha and she's not with us. So mm. I think it's quite difficult, isn't it, for that reason? This, this summer particularly, though, was going to be a big one for all of you, wasn't it? Mm. Because she would have finished her A-levels, you finished mm. your GCSE, so it was going to be a lovely family moment where you can all go deep breath after all the exams and all, all the stress and all the tension. How, how has this summer been, Alex, knowing that? And you're now, you're now older than your sister was. Um, this uh, summer has been hard, but um, during the summer, me and my family, we have cherished so many memories together um, about her. So whenever we're doing something, she w she's always there in our heads and we laugh about times we had together always. You were very close, weren't you? We w had a very strong, close relationship. She was two and a half years older than me and uh, she was, I looked up to her and uh, we had so many great holiday memories and memories ever since we were younger. And that's what it is. It comes down to memories, mm -hmm. you know, and that, that's how we are now. So as a family and anyone that's lost someone in their family, that's what you hold on to. Of course. So, how, how, I mean, it's a campaign that you've been striving for and in fought for a number of years now. How does it feel to know that this law has changed and it's going to have her name on it as well? Well, I really can't say that it, uh, it is extraordinarily Significant, really, is what I'd say. It, it is. I mean, we're really, really pleased. In, in, I think to say that it means an awful lot to us, but also a lot to us because it will mean so much to other people. Mm -hmm. uh, we can never bring back our daughter, but what we can do is do our best as a family to try and save other people's lives, through, so that nothing like this will happen again. I mean, that is what we really hold on to, mm -hmm. and motivates us actually. Because I suppose the critical thing is, is Natasha was always very conscious of her allergies. Mm. And the problem with the sandwich that she bought was there were these sesame seeds in there that just weren't listed. And this is a hope, and you must have worked tirelessly for the thing that will change. Yes, I think people who don't have food allergies mm. in this mm. country uh, have a, a misconception of uh, just how dangerous it can be. Uh, it's rather like going to next to a cliff edge and falling off. It's that dramatic. Mm. Uh, and so for people with allergies, they fully understand how allergic they are because it's a condition that affects them very much. But uh, the safety of those, those people, if you like, with allergies really rests with the education of all the people that do not have allergies. Uh, and that's uh, certainly what we're, we're working on through Natasha's mm. charity, her foundation. It's really important that people that don't have allergies have an appreciation and a compassion if you like, for people that do have that mm. disease and that condition. Uh, that's, we're working hard on that. So we know that Pret a Manger um, has changed its labelling um, and, and this new law is coming in. Is it, is it enough? Do we still need more, do you think, Tanya, in terms of what sort of the, the, the labelling and the way people will be so conscious of exactly all the ingredients that are in products? I think for pre-packaged food, it's a brilliant step. It's what needs to be done because if something's pre-packaged and someone looks at the ingredients, they'll know that what they're seeing is, is what's in that food. And that, that was the misconception before. Some people were seeing partial ingredients, some people were seeing full ingredients, and that's where the mistake happened. That can happen to anybody. But there's still so much to do. You know, society is very dangerous because food that can kill and is everywhere is a poison that's just, just there for people from when they're born. Some children from three months old have got serious allergies. So yes. it's, it's really important that we educate schools, that we educate mm. all parts of society, restaurants, um, everyone needs to be aware. And, and it's just, I think the thing is, is no one has really taken it seriously up until mm. recently. Mm. And with the numbers coming through, it's, it's a new illness. Mm. And so we can't blame people really, I suppose, for not understanding it. Unless but... you say, unless you live with it, <clears throat> yeah. you don't get the utterly terrifying consequences. Yeah. Um, what do you think uh, your sister would have made of today, the law coming in in her name? I think she would be really proud and to be able to have her name in a law. And um, 
she would just be smiling because we want to help prevent um, other families from going through what me and my family went mm. through. I mean, you're, you're at school with all your schoolmates, and imagine, and this is one of the things you're talking about, sort of making them aware. What, 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 they might have known your sister had these allergies, but were they aware of just how dangerous things were? And, and how has that changed in terms of your schoolmates' awareness? Um, I, so I have uh, some... There are some boys in my school who have allergies, and there just needs to be more awareness, not only with my mates, but with other people. The whole school needs to know about how severe they can be. But you were brilliant. When Alex was, was little and he'd have friends round after school, he'd march them into the kitchen, make them wash their hands before they did anything. Wow. In case they'd had something at school that might have been allergic to her, because we obviously had no nuts in the house sure. or anything. So he was from the age of, well, since she started school. Mm. So you've been well around. drilled in, 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 in what's yeah. needed. Mm. And that's it must the reality. been so horrible and frustrating then when you did all that and yet couldn't protect her. Yeah. Mm. That's, I, I, yeah. That is a really good point, because mm. you do, as a family, as parents, you'll do your utmost to yeah. protect your children. You die for your children. Uh, and, the, and to think that such a thing could happen, even with your best, best, best mm. efforts, that's shocking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. kind of heartbreaking. Well, well look, thank you for joining us uh, this morning. The fact that this law is in her name, I think, is, is great testament to, yes. to your hard mm. work, all, all three of you and, and the foundation. And, and best of luck for the future with that as well. Yeah. How did the GCSEs go in the end? I, they went well. I passed everything. Yeah. Is he being most, modest? Most things, yeah. Is he, he being modest? Really, is he strikes really me that he probably well. did really very well. No, he, he, he did, did well. He did really did oh, well. Oh, there you go. There's well. a mum. Good. There's good. a mum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did well. I he said so could do better. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. We're so proud. I oh. bet you are. Oh, yeah. I bet oh, you are. Done. Thank well, you for coming in. Thank you.